time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K O I Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok, too. And it's time to get this video started. y'all i got a fun little video today you know i got my audience my bollywood my tollywoods my my indie woods audience over there from all over the countries and you know up in up in america we love all the different foods we eat the asian foods we eat you know the, the italian foods and the mexican foods and all that and also the indian foods so i thought it'd be fun you know, because I really didn't get into the Indian foods until recently when I started doing my reaction videos and stuff. But then I was all about it. I was like telling my husband, because he got into it too with me, and we're like, let's make some Indian dishes at home. So this is just a quick little video to show you how, you know, we cook the Indian foods up in America. I'm sure it's it was a lot different than the way y'all cook it over there, because y'all probably cook it from scratch and make the sauces. We don't know how to do all that here. We don't know how to do that. So this is... Just a little glimpse into the life of how the Americans cook the Indian foods over here. So take a look. Cutting up some chicken for our, what are we making, Greg? Butter chicken tikka masala. All of that? Well, we like to use a combination of butter chicken sauce and tikka masala sauce. I use a jar of each. So I blend okay. some ghee here. And this is the fat that we're gonna to use to fry up our chicken for a little authenticity. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna scoop some of this. I keep it in the fridge, but I set it out for a few hours to soften because it's really hard when it's in the fridge. Right now you can see it's- That's not, a, that's not too much ghee. Oh no, you can never have too much ghee. Fat equals flavor. It's gonna cook up brown in this, then we transfer it to the crock pot. So this is a whole lot of chicken. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. You don't want to put all that in there at once from a work in batches. And so I want to try to spread this out, coat it in the ghee, just like you would if it's any type of oil or a fat medium that you're cooking in. And I like to season the chicken while it's cooking in this, but I want to let it brown up a little bit first before I add the seasoning, because if you add it before, it can start to dry the chicken out. I'm gonna notice a nice aroma pretty soon of a buttery chicken. This fills up the house and makes everyone happy. I don't happy. think they can, they know about the aroma. Well, if they get some smell of vision through this videos mm -hmm. at some point, but this really drives everyone crazy and makes them happy when they smell the buttery chicken cooking. This is just a little, uh, seasoning that I kind of like. It adds a little bit of seasoning and heat flavor. Don't put too much. Oh no. I don't like it too spicy. You'll be, you'll be surprised. That's a lot. No it ain't. One thing you learn through cooking and watching a lot of cooking shows is everything is they always add way more salt than you think you need. And when you taste the food, it's not overly salty. Meat really craves salt. So, even if you don't want a lot of spice, I can still add a little. That's some uh, Himalayan pink salt I have in there in the little grinder. But once it starts to get a little bit more browned up there, all the way around, we throw it in the crock pot because then it's where the tender. Um, Maybe people don't know what a crock pot is. Oh, you already got it on. Yeah, warming. I got it pre warming to high. You could do high or low, but since we started this later in the day, I want to do it on high so it'll be ready for dinner. Right from the okay. from the heat. Come over here and I just start scooping it in. You don't really need to grease this because there's going to be enough butter. Ghee. Oh, it smells so good. Which is just clarified butter, by the way. That's what ghee is. Scoop this over without spilling. So wives really appreciate when you don't make messes. So we've got our jars of sauce here that we procured from a local grocery store. As you can see, we have chose one of the butter chickens and one of the tikka masala. Two flavors which are pretty close together. You can see the color difference. Um, they're similar yet a little different. I really like blending them both. So as you can see, we got our chicken in the crock pot there. Mm -hmm. Start with the butter chicken. Oh, that's a good smell. We just pour all that in. But I'm going to show you a little trick after this. 
and we add the tikka masala, okay? We take some milk, just a little bit. Agitation, shake, stir. This milk adds a depth of flavor, a creaminess to it that you're not gonna get from water. Similar to adding milk to tomato soup versus water. Indian food is cooked with a lot of yogurt, which is dairy-based. I'm not a big fan of yogurt, so I think a little bit of milk actually works pretty well. So now we're just gonna get a good stir of this in here. Now it looks nice and creamy sauce. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Smells super good if y'all could smell. Right now we are making some homemade naan. Just finishing it up here. This is the last piece actually. Mm -hmm. Look at this nice golden brown. Got down. some rice going over here. Here's some more of our naan and look at our chicken is done. Look at that. Look at the steam coming out of that. That's right. Look at this. We are about to eat, but look, Bella won't eat the Indian food. She don't know what she's missing.